Now that you have learned how to query the graph with Cypher, in this lesson, you will learn how to create nodes in the graph. The Cypher clause you use to create nodes is merge. Here we specify that we want to create a person node with the name property value of Tom Hanks. When using merge for nodes, you specify the property that will be the unique primary key for the node. When this statement executes, it creates a node in the graph with the label person and the name property set. If you were to execute this merge code multiple times, it would not create any additional nodes in the graph. This is because merge first looks for the node in the graph, and if it does not exist, it creates it. Another way that you can create nodes in the graph is to use the create clause. When using create, the graph engine will create multiple nodes with the same properties, which is why a best practice is to use merge. Let's see the merge clause in action. Here we have a merge clause to create the person Michael Kane. We can now query the graph to confirm that we created the node. If we were to execute the same merge code again, we would find that no node is created. As you gain more experience with Cypher, particularly when loading data, you will learn that you can execute multiple merge statements to create multiple nodes. In this code, we create a person node and a movie node and return them. We can view the return nodes as a graph, or we can use the table view. In the next challenge, you will create a node in the graph. This concludes our look at how to create nodes in the graph.